Hey everybody, um, those that are going to be watching and or will watch later, I was fortunate enough to be on eBay at the right moment and saw this for $56 and change. Buy it now. And <clears throat> the auction was not really exactly crystal clear on what was included kind of sort of very good condition um, Proteus kit 148 scale so <clears throat> what I have been told and what I have been re reading about this Proteus kit over the years this is one of seven kits that were made now, Randy Cooper did a really small version, um, a solid version. So, I, I have seen photos of a production line <clears throat> of these kits, the resin kits, online. I've got the photos saved somewhere, like three laptops ago. But... From what I have read on this kit, there was seven made test pulls, I guess they call them, um, and it's extremely rare to find one, let alone find it complete. But, being that the person that made these passed away, and again, I'm going by what I've read and what I've been told. The person that made these passed away after shortly after um, making these, and this is it. The, you will not find this kit for sixty-four dollars shipped to your door. The last two kits that I have seen on eBay have went for three hundred and four hundred. I got this for $64 shipped to my door. Now, <clears throat> when I unpacked this from uh, eBay today, I opened the box and I shut the box immediately and I went, Oh my God, you are not going to believe what's in this kit. So, <clears throat> I have my model inspectors here as you can see. Grab your favorite beverage. I have mine. And uh, let's open it up. See what I mean? The instruction manual. I did not expect to see this, period. Movie films. Now, I don't know if these are stuck together by time or glue. Oh, there's a staple. But there's movie films in this. I'll have to read the instructions to find out if they go somewhere in the model but there's several sheets included in this and they're numbered one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh wait Raquel Welsh who didn't love Raquel Welsh in the 70s I, I'm I'm just blown away. Um, let's see, Snapfish.com, Beltsville, Missouri, seven ten of eleven. Seven ten of eleven. Seven ten of eleven. 
I have every reason to believe so far this is an authentic kit. So let's take a look at the instructions. So I have seen this photo in color. That is a lot. I have seen this photo in color. I mean, oh my God. If everything is in this kit, I, I'm just... See, pilot, assembly one, pilot deck. Map table and drive chamber. Look at this. You just cannot find this. This is not posted anywhere to my knowledge. To me, this is a treasure trove. This is like going to the Smithsonian and finding a lost folder. Install windows in the upper hall. Okay, I want to see this. Laser cut, laser cut optical plexiglass. Let's hope they're in this kit. If not, it's not a big deal because you can get um, pla uh, plastic from, you know, your, your typical, your typical uh, hobby shop. Uh, inner, upper, tiny, tiny hull details. Outer hatch assemblies. Oh my god. Let's hope the bubbles are in here. The instructions on this are so incredibly detailed. Look at this. Wow. Now, this is something I did not expect. <clears throat> I've never seen the bottom of the the resin kit and I see that it's should be well detailed. We'll look at that in a minute. Proper placement of the lower hull onto the stand parts. This comes with a stand. Now I've seen, I've seen the uh, octagon stands on eBay several times. I haven't seen them lately. Notice that these squares are not decals. Actual size templates. Abrasive squares. Okay. Uh-oh. What is this? Placement of the side stools. How 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 rare is this? You you can't find this anywhere. Window template. He provided these links for forward intake grills, window template cut out and fold for quick, easy mask of windows. 
map tabletop uh, map table screen maps look at that I'm pretty sure this kit was intended to be lit I am just I am blown away Ugh. Time for a beer chaser. So, let's start off with that's part of the bottom. Oh my God, this is heavy. how to open this this has not been opened in a while Where is the other? Oh, there it is. So, <clears throat> I have Stephen Burns um, from ChromeIllusion.com probably watching. What did I do here? I have uh, Stephen Burns from ChromeIllusion.com probably watching. If you want to introduce yourself, Stephen, he is making, and from what <clears throat> from what I have been told by hearsay, and what I mean by hearsay is. This person told that person that told that person that this kit right here is what Mobius Models made their kit from. They started with this kit and made their own. Now, I'm pretty sure they didn't mold it from this kit, but they used this kit to go to their kit. I just wish I had a Mobius Models one here to uh, compare it with, and I don't, because Stephen Burns has it, and why does Stephen Burns have it? Have it? Stephen Burns and I have been working on a Proteus for the last two years, and we're going to be able to let you choose which size you want. The ten and a half inch, nine inch, eight inch, seven inch, four inch. Because why? Because we can. And two, because in the movie Fantastic Voyage, this ship was shrunk down from one to one size down to microscopic level and they saved a spy um, from a brain tumor. So I'm being extremely careful with this. Oh my god. Very, very smooth. This is this was done from a fresh mold again. I was told that this is only one of seven that exists. 
Wow. Look at that detail. I am just totally blown away. This is extremely heavy. Wow. So we can only hope at this point that the rest of the pieces are in the kit. And guess what? Right here, look here. Windows. Windows. Oh my god. We'll go through this in a minute. Photo etch. Oh my god. Crow's Nest Model 148 Proteus. Wow, even decals. Wow. Look at this. There has to be hundreds of parts in here. The bulkhead, I was really worried about that. There's the bubble. There's the bubble. I don't see anything else in here. So before this gets knocked off on the floor, I'm going to wrap this back up temporarily. I'm going to I'm going to photograph this. I'm going to photograph this in super high resolution and uh, I'm going to have the photos available online on my Facebook <clears throat> on my Facebook uh, photo albums. You guys can study it at your heart's content. If you share the pictures or use the pictures, please give me credit. I'm I'm totally amazed. $64 purchase. I am going to move all of this off of here. And we're going to put this back in there.
What do you think? Was it worth $64? Absolutely. Okay, let's find out what's in this bag. It looks like some sort of interior supports. Some sort of control valve handles. That looks like the laser gun. Windows. Oh my god. And they look like they've got a protective film on them. Probably from when they were cut. Yep. They do. What I wouldn't give for the original, the original molds on this. Okay, so there is those parts. Uh, let me get you uh, close up. What was the name of the spy that was injured? Anybody know? It was Bannister, if I remember correctly. So we're going to put these away. And as you can hear, I have children running around. My model inspector is not paying attention. <clears throat> We're going to open this one next. I don't know if these decals are any good. Although, considering they've been in, in this box since 2011, I'm sure they are. What else we got in here? We got uh, something. Oh. Wow.
So I have <clears throat> this is a pretty thick photo etch. have a small little clear um, tube, a section of a tube, and then I've got a couple of brass rods and a couple of uh, pieces of styrene, and we'll, we'll figure all that out in the model when we go through the instructions. Totally amazing. Okay, ready for the big bag? So we have a couple of smaller bags in here, but I'm going to pull all of these parts out and lay them out. That looks like chairs in a workstation. This must be the stand. Bulkhead. <clears throat> and I recognize this piece. This piece is the tail fin. This is very, very thin. Whoever cast this in resin knew what they were doing. Uh, this looks like some of the control room. Um, that's one of the seats inside the inside the ship and it even has pleating you can see the the fabric texture again whoever cast this knew what they were doing That looks like a control console. A 
another control console or bulkhead. Another control bulkhead. Wow, look at the detail on this. Another proof <clears throat> that whoever cast this knew what they were doing. Wow. So that looks like a shelf, nice and flat. Stephen Burns, I mentioned you earlier. Can you fill in everybody um, on the kit that you're making? Um, <clears throat> you'll be able to choose your own size. This is a ten and a half inch kit, I think. Pretty sure. You can go nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, and it should be assemblable not a solid okay let's take a look at see what's in this bag before we get too far don't know what those are. If we were looking at a Star Trek model kit, I could tell you. But I'm not that familiar with the Proteus. So we'll just put these back in the bag. Stephen Burns, you know I don't do anything easy. I do everything annoying. This is very, very thin. Whoever cast this in resin knew what they were doing. Um, I recognize this control board, or uh, control console. A very key part of the movie. This is where all of the maps and everything were stored.
you guys got to remember, Fantastic Voyage was the very first movie to show the inside of the human body before we actually knew what it was. Um, I already showed the outer shell. I'll show it one more time. Another console, another uh, map table, I mean. I wonder what's in this. Guys, this has been wrapped up for at least 11 years. Hey, Steven, check these out. Movie films, or movie film prints. You can't replicate this stuff. You you can't. Okay, so all of the stuff that we've seen is down here. And I'm going to show um, the model of uh, the outer shell one more time. Steven. Look at this. Original decals. Original one-off photo etch. The arch for the tail. And, and, instruction manual. So this is what you missed, Stephen. We have the original bubble that goes on the ship. I was really worried that this wasn't going to be in the kit. That's the bubble. And guess what else we have? Original laser cut windows. Original laser cut windows. Plus we've got a lot of window supports and window frames in here. This is extremely heavy and extremely delicate. Look at this. Very, very smooth. This is an original pull. It has to be. Very, very smooth, very, very crisp. Look at the detail.
look at the detail. It even has all of the rows of switches next to the bubble. I've never seen the bottom of this model, never, until now. And there's even a stand that comes with it, Stephen. <clears throat> anyway, there it is. Yeah, when you get this, just don't grab it by the window frames. <clears throat> so, we're going to wrap this back up and then continue on with... Um, continue on with the um, other bags. I really expected this to be incomplete and so far so far I'm seeing that it is very complete I'll have to go through the instruction manual um, Steven here check this out I've seen this photo online That's how many parts are in this kit. Check this out. A supplement sheet. Check this out. Map table screenshots here to put in the model. Is this not a treasure trove or what? Okay, that goes in there, that goes in there, oh, what is this? That goes in there. I'm going to put that inside the model. So we've got this bag. Yeah, fantastic voyage, right? I've waited like 10 years to get one. I would have gladly paid three, four hundred dollars for it. God, this stuff is so thin. Look at how thin that is. That's the hatch cover. That's the bottom hatch cover. That's the hatch cover ring. And the other hatch cover ring. You can't get this ever.
Okay, let's take a look at this bag. This looks like... I was going to say chairs, but I think they... I think they're a little big. They might be chairs. All we need now is the figures, right, Stephen? God, look at that bracket. That bracket is so tiny. Yep, these are chairs. Look at this. You can see the pleating on it. Um, Stephen, this is the stand, not to be confused with the St with Stephen King, the stand. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it looks like part of the top bubble. I'm not even going to uh, open it because we can see what it is through the bag. So, <clears throat> what it, overall, um, what I find a big surprise is extremely fragile parts are still here and still in one piece. Uh, intricate parts are still here. Uh, whether they're all here, I don't know yet. I have to go through the parts count um, photo that's in the front of the instructions. The other amazing thing is the tail. The tail fin itself is still here and in one piece and the bulkhead. This I didn't expect at all. Decals and photo etch. I wonder if, uh, um, what's his name at Paragraphics? Paul has that. I didn't expect the bubble. And quite frankly, I didn't expect all of these interior parts. I expected some of them. And again, we need to verify out what's, what's in the manual. The hatches. The hatch rings. I didn't expect to see them. Last but not least, the windows and window frames and supports. I did not expect to see these at all. So, I'm going to open this and put the window frame back in here. One last look at this before I do photographs this weekend. I am just so blown away. Look how smooth that is. Yeah, wonderful detail. It's so smooth. It's so smooth you probably don't need to even scrub, uh, put a scrubby on it for paint. Maybe wash it with uh, soap and water, but the detail alone on the intake grills is just fabulous. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna put this window frame in here before we get too far.
that way it's not going to get broken in the, in the model somewhere. Totally impressed. I am totally impressed and totally blown away. So, after I get done with photos, Stephen, um, you're going to get this. Um, which means <clears throat> I'm probably going to be hounding you every other day, uh, asking you, is the model still there? Did anybody walk off of it? I'm only teasing. I know you'll take good care of it. Guys, I want to thank you for watching. And if anybody uh, watching has any history on this kit, I would appreciate I would appreciate uh, some history and corrections if I'm wrong. Um, I know that the guy that made these started making them or made some test pulls. Seven is from what I understand. And then um, I don't know how long after, shortly after or a considerable time thereafter he passed away. Um, one of seven kits made or test pulls. I, I don't know which I'm not, a, I'm not exactly sure of the accurate count, but that's what I've read. Um, if it's on the internet, it's true, right? So somebody please correct me if I'm wrong. Somebody tag Randy Cooper on this. He would probably know. Um, this is just super incredible. I... $64. I was in the right place at the right time. So, um, for right now, I'm going to put this away, and then this weekend, I will do a whole complete photo album of what's in the kit. Um, I'm going to scan the manual. Um, this hasn't been a part in a while. Rusted staple. So, I'm going to scan the manual. I'm going to uh, try to save the staple and put it back in. Um, because it deserves, this kit deserves it. I'm not going to throw the staple out. But, what a great find. What a great find. This, I didn't expect at all. I did not know these were even in the kit. What are they for? We'll find out. Guys, thank you for joining me on my fantastic voyage. You guys have a good night. And uh, keep an eye out. I will be posting photos. Thank you.